picked her up on Saturday from a breeder in Canberra. Um, brought her home the first day, she was very bouncy playing with everything, um, but then she's gone downhill from there. Nine-week-old Kiko is being admitted to the Bondi Referral Hospital, SASH. The tiny Japanese Spitz puppy is suffering severe vomiting and diarrhoea. Mark's been sleeping next to her at night time and I've been having Because we thought maybe work. distress was one of the problems because she would cry a lot at night. Worried owners Nicole and Mark have only had Kiko for five days. Hello, Kiko. Now, Hello. what's been going on with her? Brought her home on Sunday. She cried all night, but Mark slept next to her. Yep. She had three meals on Monday. Mm -hmm. um, she slept in the bathroom, but she was very distressed. She peed in her bed mm -hmm. and she still had diarrhoea. Nicole and Mark are very devoted parents. Kiko is their first baby. Nicole's been keeping a diary of her. They've hired babysitters. They are really proud parents, but unfortunately now they're very worried parents because Kiko's got a big fight ahead of her. Dehydration can be a killer in a dog of her size. Basically, all the fluid's been sucked out of her body and been lost in her diarrhea and vomit. And if we don't treat that, it can cause her body basically to shut down. Again. Okay. Lisa is taking a blood sample from the terrified Kiko. Oh, it's a good girl. Did you just want to cuddle? All right, let's check what her glucose is. She's hoping it will confirm her suspicion the puppy is suffering an extreme case of gastroenteritis. Oh, that's low. She's got a blood glucose of 1.4. With the blood sugar that low, at the moment, that would cause signs of exactly what she's doing now, so really flat, lethargic. If it drops lower, if it drops below one, she's going to be at risk of seizures. Lisa's now administering glucose into Kiko's IV drip, but she must go very slowly. Puppies are such fragile little things. I mean, we are so much bigger than them. That she, she's 1.4 kilos, so we've got to be so careful with the amount of drugs we give her, the amount of fluids we give her. Everything has to be exact because there is so little room for error with these guys. Ooh. This has suddenly got much more serious for little Kiko. Initially, I thought it was just a fairly non-specific gastroenteritis, and now she's got actually one of the horrible complications of gastro, which is low protein. Lisa's hoping a plasma transfusion will stop the puppy's fragile system from shutting down. Plasma is the clear part of the blood with the red cells taken out, and it's got lots of protein in it, and we give it to her through her IV catheter as a drip, and hopefully that will increase the levels. Because um, Kiko is so small, she only needs 14 mils of plasma. Most dogs will need a whole bag of it, and I have to just give her such a tiny amount because she's so little. There you go. I got your plasma. We've got so much tubing going on here. Um, basically, she's getting her fluids with her glucose, and she's having a plasma transfusion. Um, we're not going to really know much until a few hours' time, and I'm really hoping that what we're doing makes a difference. Hey, little mouse. Do you want a bit of chicken? A few hours later, and Kiko's plasma transfusion is starting to work. Somebody loves chicken. Come here. This is exactly what I wanted. It's the most important thing for her to get better is for her to eat and keep it down. So fingers crossed that that stays in her tummy. It will be a slow recovery as Kiko's body heals. Concerned owners Mark and Nicole won't be taking their puppy home tonight. Hello. You look better. You look better. She still, she still looks quite unsure of her surroundings. And yeah. Everything, doesn't yeah, she? no, she's, oh, it's, a, it's very scary for her to... Yeah. to be here and, oh, and yeah. okay, so... Mm. Oopsie! Oh. 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 oh, that was the last thing <laughs> oh. I just had a heart attack. Oh. So did I. <laughs> oh. No flying off tables, huh? You don't need broken legs as well. Yeah. I guess I just tried to think about when I've had gastro. Oh, no, it's revolting. Mm. <laughs> so, you just hang in there, baby girl. Oh. <laughs> 
It's been a roller coaster for this little girl, and sadly, Kiko won't be going home until I'm certain that she's recovered from this. She just needs a little bit more, more time, time. And, and then you'll beat it, hey? Yeah. Oh, good girl. <gasps> Bye, Vicky. Bye, little puppy. <laughs> <laughs> With Mark and Nicole gone, an anti-nausea injection is all too much for the dejected puppy. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Shh. Oh my goodness. Oh, you're really gonna hate me. Are we ruling things? Are we things? Little Kiko has fought a life-threatening case of gastroenteritis and finally won. She's just turned the corner. She's done a formed stool, which is excellent. There's been no more vomiting. She's been eating really well. And yeah, she's ready to go home. It's great. Look who's there! Oh, hello, puppy! Coming home! You want your pizza? Thank you, Mr. Vet. Go to your girls. <laughs> the the evil vet, so I've been labelled. <laughs> no, hey? it's just my pizza. Yeah. You're up. Ready? She's the nice lady vet. Everyone who's going to play with her for the next week is going to get that yeah, all, that all <laughs> hand drop <laughs> first. <laughs> Bye. Thanks, guys. Thanks Bye. again. See ya. Hi, I'm Dr. Danny Dusek from Bondi Vet. If you love our show and want to see more, plus some amazing content about pets and how to care for them, hit the subscribe button. Click that little notification bell, and we'll see you on our next video.